I need to follow our own program. <laughs> that was the fabulous Dorothy Cotton Jubilee Singers all the way from Ithaca. Under the direction of Dr. Baruch Whitehead. We are so honored to have them here. We are so excited. And I just have to thank Jack Gilroy for making the connection. So we're going to be partners forever. Um, <laughs> We were going to have the invocation. He is on his way. He is here. Crazy. <laughs> so let me tell you a little bit of what I've learned about the Dorothy Cotton Jubilee Singers. Now, not only are they famous in this area, but they have performed at the Kennedy Center in Washington, D.C., and most recently, Carnegie Hall in New York City. Yeah. represent Dorothy Cotton, who was an activist and one of the important figures in the Civil Rights Movement. Yes, and as yes. an African American woman, definitely stood for everything we are fighting for still. Yes, so, yes. again, they have a legacy that they are um, given to us through the Ministry of Song. There is an education behind what they do, and I'll let Dr. Baruch speak for a moment. Look, I didn't tell you, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you so much, and it's so great to be here. When Jack um, sent me an email, probably a year ago, and, and COVID hit, and um, we couldn't do this, but I, I really, I must admit, I didn't know anything about John Jones. That's okay. And when I read his story, I was just amazed at this incredible human this unsung hero, and I'm so happy that you guys are here to uh, memorialize him today, and we're just so honored to be a part of it. So thank you so much um, for being a, for uh, inviting us and for us to be here on this gorgeous day. And John Jones, we 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 thank you, the ancestors who have gone on. We thank you for your work. We thank you for your legacy, and let us all gather strength to continue the fight for social justice and peace and unshackle everyone in this country. Thank yes. you. 
And now I have the privilege of introducing Reverend Corey Cook, my pastor of Monumental Baptist Church. And I asked him to do something that may have, um, well, we'll see what he does. <laughs> It's so great to see all of you this this afternoon as we gather for such a momentous and memorial, memorial occasion. I just want to have a word of prayer. Praise God that affirms why we're here. Amen. Amen. Can we all bow our heads? Heavenly Father, we come before you right now with praise and thanksgiving. We honor you, Lord God, and acknowledge the sacrifice, the servitude. Heavenly Father, the sojourning. We thank you for this moment right now. We also thank you for the times and the moments in history that has brought us to this place. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the, the blessed man, the blessed name of John W. Jones. Heavenly Father, let him forever be an example to all of us to persevere and endeavor and strive to do things that not only solidify who we are, but it also brings nurturing love, care, and love to others. So as we stand here in unity together, repeat after me. Let's pray together and say, Lord, Lord make me an example. Make make me an example. example. Not just an example, but a better example. For everything that we've already seen, allow us to improve upon perfection. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I was asked a special request to sing a refrain of a song. So if I hit a bad note, please sympathize <laughs> with me. No bad notes. God. It's just simply the Our Father prayer. And it's just an, an old Southern style that kind of goes like this. Oh, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy holy name. Yes, thy on. kingdom come, mm. thy will be done. Well. Said on earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread, and then give us a prayer, Lord, yes. for our dying day. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Let's say amen. amen. Oh, yeah. This is the first prayer mm. I ever learned to say. I know he's brought me safe all the way. Lord, you've been my shield. All of my protection, and I know you hold me with your powerful hand. And when my voice cannot be heard, then I'm gonna stretch out, I'll stretch out on your word. Cause thine is the kingdom, the power. And the glory. Let's say amen. 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 I guess there's nothing to be said but thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we're going to sing another song uh, in a minute, but before we do that, I'm going to ask my adopted cousin, Marie Ellis Jordan, to sing a song, O oh Freedom. The story goes that this song was sung by the Igbo people who were shackled in the Americas, and they're in the Georgia Sea Island, and before they served in slavery, one by one, they went in down into the lake to drown themselves. Mm. Oh, freedom, before I be a slave, I'll be buried in my grave. Mm -hmm. 
John W. Jones. It is said that great men and women are made and are not made but are born and they possess a unique set of characteristics and attributes that make them leaders. That is certainly the case for John W. Jones. He was a great leader. He was a great American. But best of all, he was our local hero. His was a life of service to the community, conviction in his beliefs, and dedication to the fight for freedom and equality. His legacy and compassion for all, equity and truth telling can help us navigate today's challenges. Thank you. 
please. Thank you. As president of the Board of Trustees for the John W. Jones Museum, I am proud to represent an organization of volunteers who are responsible for preserving the original home and keeping the story of his life and legacy alive for generations to come. The John W. Jones Museum trustees, its volunteers and supporters, are committed to continuing the work that its founder Lucy Brown started. We're excited to announce that the statue <coughs> in honor of John Jones is now complete and will be installed within the next 12 months. finalizing plans and seeking funding <laughs> for an interpretation center that will also be constructed on the grounds of the museum and it will be called the Lucy Brown Education and Heritage Center. I want to recognize the two gentlemen who have organized this event, and they have been trying to get this going for the last two years. COVID kind of interrupted them. <coughs> um, Daryl Denning and Jack Gilroy, and unfortunately, Daryl <coughs> was unable to come today, but we know his spirit is here. I think he has family members here, but um, just want to thank them, acknowledge their hard work on this, and bringing this wonderful choir here who are now my new best friends. <laughs> so, I want to bring up Daryl, no, Jack, I'm sorry. Daryl's not here. So I want to bring Jack Gilmore up. just organizing uh, the situation. I had an uh, email early this morning from Daryl that was a shocker. Uh, Daryl said he couldn't come. Daryl is a Marine Corps uh, veteran of Vietnam, and you can just imagine, you know, uh, what comes out of any war, uh, especially that awful mess. Uh, but he also was in a serious accident not too far from here about six years ago. And he, had, he wasn't able to speak for many, many months or walk for many, many months after. So he has gone through physical and emotional pain. And I just wanted to say that he was anxious to be here to tell about his relatives. He's a Caucasian, passes as a Caucasian, but like all of us, he's of one race, the human race, and found out that his grandparents, great, great grandparents were slaves. In fact, he, uh, he, he mentioned that uh, uh, Miss Stewart, uh, Heather. right? Stewart. Heather Stewart is a relative of his, right? Uh, so, uh, so that was going to be a joyous thing, Heather, for him to be here with you singing. So uh, say a prayer for sure uh, for Daryl, okay? And that's about all that I have to say. But thank you very much, uh, Talima and the whole group for doing this one. Do your, go on Wikipedia if you have to, because. Salim and the others are going to have a lot more information with the Education Center. But in the, in the meantime, check things out. I talked yesterday to a man who has made portraits of 250 great Americans. And Veterans for Peace took him into Cornell, into Broome County, into a high school with 16 of his portraits. I called him and talked to him and said, you know, here's a man. Did you ever hear of John W. Jones? Never heard of him and he's going to be doing John W. Jones. Thank you, Jack, for those words. Um, oftentimes, the Negro spirituals were encoded messages for the enslaved people. In this next song, Go Down Moses, we know um, it has reference to Harriet Tubman. We all know about Harriet Tubman. Yeah. John Jones is should be right up there right with there. her. Right there. Right there, because I think they said 800. 800. 800. So this song, Go Down Moses, and when, uh, to, just to tell Pharaoh, tell the evildoers to let my people go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Today in honor of this great, great, great man. And I was just thinking, what bill, what builds a legacy? When we're dead and gone, what will people say about us? And you know, and I'm sure that Mr. Jones did not think that people will be hundreds of years later around his grave singing songs, giving him tribute. But this is what great men and women are made of. So thank you. And we're so thankful that we have these storms in our lives, but the storms pass over eventually. And this next song, to encourage you, whatever storm you're going through, the storm is passing over. Thanks. Encourage my soul and let us journey on. Though the night is dark and I am far from home, thanks be to God. presentation will be made by Ann and Jim Clooney and any others who assist them, a little token of a small gift uh, to uh, Professor Baruch and uh, these wonderful singers.
we have our 21 bouquets that will come out of the treasury of Broome County Peace Action and Broome County Veterans. Um, trustees that are here for the John Jones Museum, please. And Chris Walters, please. And the volunteers for John Jones, please. <laughs> there's, there's a few of them here. So as you know, nothing gets done with just one person. And these are some of the people that help make it possible. So for the Dorothy Cotton Jubilee Singers, Dr. Burrell, on behalf of the John W. Jones Board of Trustees, and his volunteers, and Chris Walters of the Arts Council of the Finger Lakes. We want to thank you. We want to keep your mission going. And we want to and so now we will close it out. Thank you all for coming. The museum will be open. And um, we will have water there. <laughs> so that's all I'm offering. <laughs> Thank you again. It's been fabulous. Talima, can you get some water?